What's up guys, Hands On Code here, and today I'm going to show you how you can set up IntelliJ IDE for JavaFX and Scene Builder in just three simple steps so you can create beautiful JavaFX applications. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and get started. So kind of a step zero here, I'm going to assume that you already have a Java SDK installed on your machine. Right now the current SDK is Java 13. And if you would like a video showing you how to install it, if you've not done so already, I will li link my tutorial down in the description. Alrighty, let's move on to step one. So obviously, if we're going to be using IntelliJ IDE, we must download and install it. So just go ahead, head to Google, head to IntelliJ, and click free download and download this community edition right here. Go ahead and download and install that. And of course, guys, I will leave all links for the downloads down in the description. All right, so once you've downloaded and installed that, you'll be able to open it right from your desktop. You should see a screen that looks similar to this and you can see your projects that you have. Now, I have some projects here already. If you just downloaded it and installed IntelliJ for the first time, you may not have any here. So before we create a new JavaFX project, we need to go ahead and download JavaFX from Google. So just go ahead and Google JavaFX SDK 14 and click on the link for openjfx.io. Go ahead to their beautiful downloads page and skip down to the latest release because we want all the features guys so i'm going to go ahead and download for windows but download for whatever machine you have just make sure it's the sdk and make sure to save it in a location where you will be able to find it later for me i've downloaded it to this java folder on my desktop right here so what we want to do is we want to take the zip file we just downloaded for openjfx 14 right click and extract the files here so that our computer will be able to read them. Okie dokie, now we are ready to open up IntelliJ and create our first JavaFX project. So let's go ahead and click new project. We wanna make sure it's a JavaFX project and click next. Name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it to test, who cannot spell today, test FX and click finish. So that'll open up a new JavaFX project for you within IntelliJ. They will write some code and create some files for you. You'll see here we have our sample FXML file to write our JavaFX code. We have our controller.java and we have our main.java which has all of our startup code. But as you can see IntelliJ doesn't know where to look for JavaFX. So let's go tell it where it is. Let's go ahead and head to file, project structure, and we're going to click on libraries and add JavaFX as a Java library. So go ahead and click the plus, click Java, and navigate to where we saved that JavaFX file earlier. So I, for me, it's desktop, Java, JavaFX. Now we're going to go into there and we're going to click the lib folder. We want to make sure that we're on the JavaFX lib right there. Go ahead and click OK. OK again. And rename it to whatever you want. I'm just going to call it JavaFX. Um, 14. Go ahead and click apply and now it looks like IntelliJ knows where to find JavaFX but however if we go ahead and try and run it we're going to get a little error that says JavaFX runtime components are missing and that is because it's still not including the JavaFX files when we run the program. So to fix this we're going to go ahead and click main edit run configurations and we're going to edit our virtual machine options so go ahead and expand that little box and i will link i will leave this right down in the description for you so you can copy and paste it or i'll show you where to find it on the internet but we're going to go back to the javafx website we're going to click down to this getting started documentation javafx and intellij and we want to go down to where it says add VM options. So if you're on Linux or Mac, copy and paste this line. Or if you're on Windows, like me, copy and paste this line right here, control C. And we are going to add it to our run configurations right here. So we are just going to make that, we're going to copy and paste it in, make it look all pretty, and open up the folder where you saved your JavaFX because we need to copy its path. So we have our zip, we have our extracted folder. Go ahead and go into the extracted folder and go into the lib folder. 
and then click up here so it highlights the address can, and copy it with control C and go ahead and replace the path down here that's in this quotation marks with the path to Java FX on your machine. You can see it created another line for me, that's okay. And once that's all good, we're just gonna click okay. And everything should be good to go. You can see now we try and run our project and we get our first Java FX window right there. Bam, beautiful. But let's move on to step three to see how we can set up IntelliJ with Scene Builder. So for this first step here, we're going to go ahead and head once again for the last time to Google. We're going to Google Scene Builder. And it's this first one right here. Um, from the same people that made in uh, Java FX. We're going to go ahead and click download now. And we want the scene builder for Java 11. So I'm going to take the Windows installer and download that. And once I download it, I'm going to go ahead and run that to install. And once that finish, uh, I'll click finish and it should be good to go. We just have to go to IntelliJ, click on our sample.fxml right click, go down to open in scene builder. So you can see since I have used scene builder before, it just opened it right away for me. However, if you have not used scene builder before, you are gonna have to tell JavaFX or IntelliJ where to look for it. So to find where to look for it, you it's going to be located under this PC, Windows, Program Files, scene builder and you want to go ahead and tell it to look for the scene builder dot exe so it's going to be a slightly different window in intellij but that's where you will locate it on windows so once you tell it to f use the scene builder dot exe it will just remember it and then you get this beautiful window Alright guys, so that's it for my Java FX and Scene Builder in IntelliJ tutorial. If you have any questions or uh, comments, please leave them down in the comments section below. And don't forget to hit the like button.